Welcome to the J Crazy News Headlines. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, crime is one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, why development in Jamaica is slowly going on. Why the true growth have not been seen as yet. And when I say true growth, I mean every single Jamaican, including the poor and middle class, can experience wealth in this country. Crime and corruption. Remember, you know, corruption breeds crime. Jamaica is one of the most corrupt countries globally, if not top 10 or top 5. And for many years, decades, corruption has not been addressed. This is why crime is out of control because corruption fuels crime. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, I'm just right now, the third security guard that was killed yesterday afternoon while coming off his work and going home. On the screen is Dwayne Russell. Now Dwayne Russell was killed cold-blooded by a lone gunman on Trans Street in Montego Bay St. James yesterday afternoon where he was shot more than once in his upper body. Now Dwayne Russell was described as a very humble man, a working man in his security. Now, to my viewers and my subscribers, the police are scratching their head. They have yet to collect reasons or enough evidence as to why Dwayne Russell was murdered. Now, I believe because yesterday was killer security day yesterday and Portmore highlighted that first, then West Milan and Mobi say, you know what? We have to be in the mix. We have to kill a security guard. And so said, so done. The way in Russell's life was cut short by a lone gunman. In my point of view, it is not looking worse in Jamaica. Jamaica is on the brink of turning into another Haiti. And even much worse than Haiti because right now, this is what go on in Jamaica. Jamaica is much worse than Haiti right now. Even though there's a civil unrest in Haiti. But right now because the crime rate, Jamaica is shedding more blood shed than Haiti right now. And has been for many years. So the question I have to ask every Jamaican, officials, whether rich or poor, are government members. Why is it that the current situation in Jamaica hasn't been resolved. Why is it that officials who are being elected are not doing enough to curb this crime rate? When it comes to put measures in place, legislations, stiffer laws, why is it that the government, whether PMP or GLP, are dragged them foot when it comes down to bloodshed and mayhem in this country? Do they really care about Jamaicans? Do they care about preserving life? Or is it because solving crime not going to put money in their pocket? Now for many decades, Jamaica has been struggling with solving crime and violence in this country. It's like whoever win, they're just not doing enough. Or they're just not interested in fixing the crime. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, Crime should be the main focus above everything else in this country. If you don't fix crime and violence, you can't have true growth. How can you ignore crime and violence and fixing it? And you want to develop Jamaica when crime is still happening. I'm not saying you can stop murders totally now, but cut it down to a significant percentage where you have like five murders for the month or two murders for the month. Is that so impossible? You have many ways, many ways to cut the crime. But persons who are elected to run this country is just not interested. Mm. 
Now we head towards Punchdown, Jamaica, Garden Town to be exact. On the screen is a young man who is known as Grimey, so they call him from Garden Town. Yesterday, Grimey was killed during a stabbing incident in Garden Town, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, where he and a man had a conflict, my viewers and my subscribers. A knife was brought into play and Grimey was stabbed to death. Now it's unclear if the man was taken into custody or he's on the run. The police are investigating. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, we're still in Spanish Town where on Sunday, Shelter Rock led an attack in Thompson Pen or Road to be exact, killing one man known as Boopy, who is unemployed of Old Road, Thompson Pen in Spanish Town. Now in videos I did before, I said that Thompson Pen is trying to start a war with Shelter Rock. Remember I know they killed a female from Shelter Rock, which is called Fanny. And last week they went to Rambo's mother's home down the riverbanks between Shelter Rock and Demshapen and shoot up our house. And during the exchange, men from Demshapen went over to Thompson Pen and start spray bullets as well. Now, you know Rambo is going to take that likely because her mother house gets shoot up. Now, men from Shelter Rock on Sunday went to Old Road and shot a man who is called Boopy, my viewers and my subscribers. Now, Boopy's killing is a reprisal for the killing of Rambo's sister, who is known as Fanny. I said before, Rambo, now take it likely, them kill his sister and shoot up his mother house last week. Now, to my viewers and my subscribers, this war between Thompson Penn and Shelter Rock is brewing and trust me it's going to spiral out of control and i hope it doesn't this is jay crazy news once again until then bless up yeah man i'm here see a black legend i'm here represent for jay crazy youtube reviewing channel so watch like comment subscribe and share out the thing and jay crazy youtube reviewing channel in review news and entertainment celebrity lifestyle movements as well jay crazy not play when him a review the thing them jay crazy youtube reviewing channel in review news and entertainment celebrity lifestyle movements as well jay crazy not play when him a review the thing them Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy